Hello and welcome, 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 spirit warriors or s dubs, whichever you prefer. Just doing a quick mug with the Cricut mug press. And um, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. This is a Mother's Day mug I'm doing for my mother in law. I'm going to be working on some other things for my sisters and my mom. So today's going to be a fun craft day. Stay tuned. I'm about to send this to the Cricut and we're going to get this cut out and we're going to, yeah, get this project started. So see you guys in a second. So one thing I hate about this uh, Cricut app is it don't let you select more than one layer at a time. Or if someone know how to select more than one layer on the tablet, please let me know. Oh, wait. Comments is off because people been acting crazy. But anywho, yes, as I digress. Okay, figured it out. Let's press and hold. You have to press and hold um, the layers, and then it allowed me to select both of them. So now I can actually send it to the Cricut because I needed a, a, I guess like a, a what they call it, like a outbound box or whatnot, like so that I can save as much of my infusible ink sheet as possible. So I did a like a border box around it so I can, yeah, make it easier on myself. Another lesson I learned the first time I was doing my infusible ink mug, I'm gonna show you guys that in a minute, which was um, I put the infusible ink face down, which normally you would do any like HTV, glitter, etc. type of uh, transfer. So yeah, I got ink all over my mat now. Scared to clean it because I cleaned my other mats from the YouTube streets. They said to use a little awesome, you know. I love me some awesome. Use a little awesome. Now my mat's not sticky. So, yeah. Don't know how to clean it. Don't know what to clean it with. If it's going to get cleaned. It might just be like this for a while. And this is the super strong grip map. This is the only one that has a grip on it, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah. Want to come share that quick learned lesson right there. And this was my first mug that I did with the infusible ink. Forgot to reverse, not not forgot to reverse the image, but um, no, I did forget to reverse the image. No, I put it upside down. That's what it was. I put it upside down, put it backwards, did something crazy. So now it's, yeah, right here it's upside down. And then I did it again with the same transfer sheet. And um, yeah, home mug now. <laughs> so now I need to clean this one off with some alcohol. I know it's supposed to be my elephant rope, but that one's out of commission right now. So we little soaked up right now. Um, gotta clean this off with alcohol, get this ready. If you don't, once you heat up your heat press, if you don't use it, it cuts off, which is an awesome feature because that thing gets hot. So I'm going to turn this back on. I timed it. It's about five minutes to heat up. So I'm going to put this back on and get the infusible ink onto the mat. So the Cricut Press is already heated up. I have this open. I use the gloves because you don't want fingerprints all on top of this. It will show up for sure. So I'm going to use a glove, get this out of here, put this on here. I need to hurry up because that's already heated up. So I have it on here, just pressing it down. So I use the glove, which is the strong grip map, so we shouldn't have a problem. But yeah, insert that in here, make sure it's even. Get this right here. Oh, didn't grab it. See? See how I didn't grab the mat? Hold on. Try that again. Okay. There we go. That's what we wanted. Okay. And we can press go, I believe. My tablet cut off. Okay. Now we can press go. Okay. 
Made some fun stickers. Love Care Bears. Alright, so came out beautiful. Now I need to trim that down and yeah, get it on the cup. Okay, so it definitely cut off on me again because I was over here fighting with this. What the heck? Infusible ink. Oh, lost my words. Over here fighting with this sheet. So that cut off on me. Got it back on. Took less than five minutes. Popped right back on. Um, still got to clean the mug. Hold on. So we got a cotton swab with some alcohol. I'll wipe that down. Wipe it. Make sure the other side. I'm actually not even putting it on this side. I'm not putting it on this side. So I'm going to put it on the front here. It's going to be on this side. So this is really all what I need to worry about. It's right here. Okay. Again, the glove would be nice so you don't get your fingerprints on the cup. Okay. Ooh, you can see it drying. Y'all couldn't see it. Yeah. Okay, so I'll let that dry. Let that dry down. I'm gonna put the paper on here. Booyah. I was so nervous to take it off the plastic off. I'm not sure if I need to take the plastic off. I probably should go figure that out. I don't want to put this plastic in this machine. Got to figure that out. Be back. Yeah, never, never. Don't do anything intricate like this with no infusible ink sheets. This is crazy. Look at the little paper that is fraying, that's staying. I, mm -mm, mm -mm. SMH. I know you got my warning. It's about to shut down again. Because this mess right here is messing with me. This mess is messing with me. <sighs> Literally the worst. The worst experience ever with this infusible ink stuff. Like, uh, manual pressure my behind. Definitely going to be doing more pressure. I mean, default pressure, no. We're going to have to boost up the pressure, cut it, because this is tacky. This is ridiculous. I'm going to get hit twice the other day, and that didn't frustrate me as much as weeding this out right now. Like, seriously. And now i got to go back in and clean it up, and the rest I'm not weeding. I'm leaving. It's, it's staying. I'm not weeding nothing else. This is it. That's all. Now I'm going to clean this up and get this on this mug for real this time. So I'm taping it down now. <clears throat> and to be honest, I nipped as much of that paper off as I could. But I'm I'm not about to worry about it because it ain't got no ink on it. So it shouldn't, it shouldn't do nothing. Fingers crossed. It shouldn't do anything. Like pieces like this little fray paper right here. Whatever. And I also came in here and say, yes, I reuse this heat tape. I skim on it. Use small pieces, tape it to something, and keep it pushing, okay? Because uh, you see how small this roll is that they give you from Cricut? I ain't about to be running through that. Mm -mm. Nope. Okay. So, got to restart that process. Let's see how long that takes. Because it's been off for a second, for a while. I've been over here fighting with this stuff. So, yeah, lesson learned. Nothing intricate. If you're going to use the papers, just use the full sheets. Don't weed a motherfucking thing. Unless it's something simple. One whole graphic or something. Because this was... Ooh, y'all, I'm telling you. Throw it away. Look, my leaf popping up. Mm. Gotta fix that. Definitely gotta tape that down. 
Alrighty, so it is green. Let me take my time and put that in there. Make sure nothing lifts up. So I was like I said, got most of it taped down. Let's turn it to make sure that's all the way in there. Just gonna press this down. Hopefully nothing shifted in there. Fingers crossed. And then once this reaches all the way over here, it's gonna be done. And we'll be back for the final reveal. Okay, so we got it out. Have it sitting on the heat resistant thing right here. And um, it was a little over five minutes, like maybe about six, seven minutes to do the whole cup. Not bad at all. You can see that it actually printed out very well. You see the colors coming through, the lines coming through, I mean. So when that cool down, we can reveal it. It's been fun. Not real, not real fun, but definitely a lesson. I'm all about them learning lessons, right, y'all? Learning something new every day. Every day I'm hustling. Okay, so let's... Oh, it's still kind of warm. You can go ahead and go off. Go ahead. Um, hold on, let me... I got only one hand, so let's get this off. I'll be right back. Here we go. Here's the reveal. So all that work was kind of worth it. <laughs> It was kind of worth it. You know, it's okay. I do like that. Uh, because I didn't weed it, it just kind of just give it that detail. The lines in it and everything. Mm hmm Not bad, not bad. Was it worth it, y'all? What y'all think? Was it worth all the fuss? I think it was. Anywho. Ciao, toodle, smooches. We'll be back for another, not a mug. We're going to do a coaster for my sisters and um, for my mom. Probably going to make her a shirt or something. I don't know. It's Mother's Day. We're just making a bunch of gifts. So stay tuned. Thank you for coming. Thank you for liking and sharing. Uh, yeah, appreciate you.